Welcome to working with InDesign 2015, just working with Liquid Layout for this example in order to create or work with a fixed layout EPUB, quickly changing the sizes. Now the Liquid Layout was really developed for the DPS um, doing the digital publishing, but with fixed layout EPUB it's actually a great tool for that as well. So I'm just going to open up my InDesign file, as you see I had a link there as well for an image and here it is, it's just a four page landscape file. What I want to do is I just wanted to use the layout, the liquid layout tools, which is actually in digital publishing, is just located down here. But we don't have any access to it as yet because we need to come over here and select our page tool. So the page tool and then it brings up the contextual menu which is currently off. The other thing what I'm doing is when you set up your document document setup. You'll have an intent which is print or digital publishing. By default it will probably be print. Just make sure you go to digital publishing and choose your output here, be it custom or iPad in this case. But we're going to look at changing the sizes here very easily. Right, so what's the best way to do that? Well, just to show you a little bit about Liquid Layout, when we're on the page tool, I can come down here and it's turn my page into a graphic when I click on it anyway, which I can then just drag in and it's actually changing the page. If I let go, it bounces back. If you want it to stay there, hold your Option key or Alt key on a PC and just drag it in and it'll stay there. I'm just going to undo that, Command Z, so I don't want to do it at this stage. Um, it's only changed by, by the way, doing it this way. If I click here, Whatever page I'm on, it will only change that page. You can change everything by coming down here and control by master, or just double clicking on the master pages, which of course will change everything at the same time. Now, being on the master pages, if I suddenly wanted to rework this whole document, which um, I do, but I want to do different pages just to show the example, but nonetheless, if I want to change the whole document, which is currently the iPad, I can come down here and I can just go into, let's say, uh, we'll go to uh, the Kindle Fire. Okay, if I click on that, it's changed the page. You'll see in the me menu here that it's changed all of these pages too. It doesn't or hasn't done a particularly good job. So I don't want to do that. Um, but I do want to do that uh, if I'm putting this together, but I want to do it the easiest way possible. So what we'd need to do is you'll probably have this set on off. You probably notice that one page is slightly different to the others because I had selected one of the setups to work with one of these. Anyway, but we're going to do this manually with different pages just so we can have a look at how things work. For a start, manually, I'm going to not control by master, but just go to scale. So I've got my scale and I'm on my page one. I've got my um, page um, graphic here or page tool and I click on it. If I just hold my option key and scale it, especially if, if I hold my shift key as well, it'll scale it in proportion. It's really getting a lot smaller. In fact, if I come up here, you can see that that's a big page. Okay, better still, that's quite a bit smaller. but a little bit difficult to read the text, just like if you're going to an iPhone size, you might really want to consider the size of the image or the size of the text. So there might be a little bit of work in doing that. It won't be probably all liquid layout, but, um, but nonetheless, um, it's going to help a lot. It's going to undo that. And this time, instead of just scaling it manually, now we know how to do that, I want to look at some of the, the tools here. So seeing we're talking about scaling for an iPhone, size. Let's just um, go back up here. I'm going to bring my pages and with that page selected let's just go from here and we go down to iPhone. And of course it wasn't exactly the same proportion but it's sort of done a pretty good job even though the text really would need a little bit of working um, in order to get that more legible. Nonetheless that's the first page and we just scaled it. If we're going bigger, then that's no problem, um, or just a little bit different in size, it sort of will do the job really, really quickly. Maybe we should just have a look at scaling with a different format. So I'll, just, I'll undo that, and I'm just going to now, making sure it's still scaled, I'll select on, let's see, 
I'm going to go to the Android, which is a little bit wider. Okay, so it's quite a bit wider. Scaled up a little bit, but still it's not wide enough there. Maybe we can try going to um, the Kindle Fire. Okay, it's still a bit wider, but it's scaling as best as it can with the proportion it had. I'm going to go all the way back to just iPad. And there it fits it exactly because it was actually set up nicely for that. Well, maybe that wasn't the ideal tool. Um, anyway, let's go down to just page two. What I'm going to do now, I've clicked on page two, and it's exactly the same because I did go back to the iPad, but I'm going to change this one uh, to recenter. Okay, so what does recenter mean? Well, let's go and have a look at uh, making this file uh, a little bit bigger just by going maybe to the Android 10 inch. What it did, it didn't change any of the graphics in terms of size, text, or image, but it's kept it exactly in the center. If I just hold, uh, or go to the, the edge tool here, see, no matter what, it will center it. So that might be exactly what you want to do, depending on your output here. So I've just taken that back to the iPad. Let's go into number three here. So on page three now, I've got this sort of highlighted. I'm going to change this and I'm going to go from recenter to object base. So what does that do? Well, if I click on the page, we've got all these funny little lines. These are basically springs that will essentially scale by having these springs clicked and not locked. If it's locked, they won't spring. And then we have these pins on the side, which will pin it to make sure it stays on the side if these are pinned. Now that one at the moment I don't think is pinned. Let's actually go and have a look at another tool. So I'll just minimize that and we'll, we'll click on this liquid layout tool. We haven't used it yet. So what's here? Well, only with the liquid layout object-based tool do you get all of these things, things clicked on. Now if I want to scale it, at the moment um, it's not pinned into the bottom. So if I pin that, you see now it's pinned to the bottom and it's not pinned on the right, it's now pinned on the right. So you can actually click it manually, or if I click back here, or just do it with the tools on the side. So what will happen if I go and scale this now to another page? So we'll come back to our pages, and let's say go out to something a little bit wider, see how this works. I'll go to the Android 10 inch. Now that did a pretty good job, it pulled everything out the side, and I think really I don't need to do anything with that. It's done the job pretty well. What about just changing it now to the, uh, the Kindle Fire Nook? It dropped it a bit smaller, but it's done a not too bad a job. Maybe I'm not that happy with the layout here. But at any stage I can go back and just tweak the layout. It's not going to do everything. It's basically just doing a lot of the work for you. Maybe 90%, maybe sometimes more, maybe a little bit less. Um, maybe sometimes even 100% so that you can much more quickly resolve your design output. So anyway, that's working with the, um, if I go back here, let's close that again, liquid layout, that's working with our object base, which we also have back, back up here. I'm just going to go now to the fourth page. So we can see that pages, well, that with pages changed a little, the others are still iPad, but I'm going to Click on that, it's back to the iPad format. What I want to do now is the last one, which is guide based. Well, nothing has happened yet, but the clue is in the words being guide. What you need to do in order to um, get it adjusting to sizing, so if at the moment if I just drag this in, it doesn't really do anything. So what I need to do is actually drag the guides into the file. Now watch what happens when I just let go, it comes a dotted line. Now if I drag it in, well, it's doing a good job by just the horizontal, but maybe I need to drag a vertical line in. Let's see what happens there. Okay, and it's doing a great job, actually. Um, let's see how can we get the text to, to work a little bit better as well. Well, all I need to do is Make sure I include the text. It's already got a, a vertical line in there. It's very hard to see in the text itself, but I'm just going to drag that into the text as well. You can see a little dotted line. A little bit hard to see on your screen, but it's there. 
let's try just dragging it now. Okay, so it's not changing the size of the text, it's just adjusting it as best as possible. So let's see if we just go and change that to the Kindle Fire Nook. And we're going to have to adjust the picture, but um, everything's worked pretty well in that sense. Um, maybe I, if I go to something a little bit bigger, it's certainly done a great job with this, a little bit like the object tool. So really what you do is have to find the right tool that's going to work best with you and you have quite a selection. Now just before I finish, we also have one other thing, um, or a couple of other things actually. I'm going to click down here and um, you've also got your custom size, but um, on this drop down menu which you see the iPad H, you can go to alternate layout which will straight away turn it up to a vertical format. Now this is really set up for the DPS, the digital publishing format. Um, so you may not need the double pages on the same file for your fixed layout EPUB, but what it's also got here is just underneath is a split window just to compare how your layout's going. So if I click on this, especially when you've got double page formats, you can actually see other files that appear here as well, which is still just part of the four pages. But if you wanted to compare your horizontal layouts, maybe I'll just add create alternate layouts to show how this works. As I say, it's really for setting up um, for digital publishing for the iPad, but now you can see that how I've changed this. And if I, on this side, just double click, and now we've got the format that we've turned it into a vertical format. Now, I don't want to get too confusing with this, but it actually uh, does a great job for comparing um, with the split. Now, what it also does when you actually do a split for the iPad, if I just come back up here, uh, in fact, I might just go over to this side, and just so we can um, see the side here, I'm going to, with this top file, just make sure I'm on my first page, okay? Now, watch what happens with the first page from the H and the V when you're doing alternate layouts. If I come down here, I'm going to just double click on the type here, or if I go into the type tool, might be a good idea. I'm just going to remove the word quick and just go delete. Now, did you see what happened over here? We've got this little error issue, issue or um, basically warning symbol. What that means is it links up alternate pages. If I go onto my pointer tool, come back over and double click on that, it's actually removed it. It will, with alternate um, layouts, it will actually help you um, make sure that you, if you're changing one, it changes the other. So that was a different form for the digital publishing, but uh, still uh, quite a clever tool. So I'm just going to go back um, and undo that. Um, I don't want my alternate layouts. By the way, if you want to turn this off at any stage, an easy way of doing it is either access it to unsplit it, and if that's not available, just come down here and just click on the button here and it just unsplits it as well. So in a nutshell, that's just working with Liquid Layout and it really can help when you're working on big publications, anything basically that's going to speed you up. So thanks for watching.